Patrick, we've got the build-up to July 4. It's not just your birthday, <laughs> it's the by-election for Eden Monero, uh, the Eden Monero <laughs> by-election. And you've got some, what might, looks like, to me, good news for Anthony Albanese today. I think it is good news for Anthony Albanese. And uh, how would you rather spend your birthday than covering a by-election, Kieran? It would be great. But it, it should actually be a very <laughs> interesting race. Um, and, look, the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party, they pre-selected a previous high-performing New South Wales state candidate to contest the by-election. Uh, but more importantly, perhaps in terms of the contest and generally, my understanding is the Shooters Party will preference Labor, will recommend preferences for Labor at this by-election, a major boost to Anthony Albanese's prospects of hanging on to the seat. The former Deputy Mayor of Harden, Matthew Statmiller... He is the shooter's candidate. He polled 16% of the vote at last year's state election in the state seat of Cootamundra and 23.3% of the vote at a by-election in that same neighbouring seat in 2017. The shooters, what they're hoping for is to poll 5 to 10% here, with the main aim being to defeat their arch enemies, the Nationals, who've now said they're in the race. starting to look like a pretty crowded race, but their most important role probably... Uh, could decide the seat if their preferences, as I expect, go Labor's uh, Christy McBain's way.